Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today we'll write a program to find out the transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix is an operator which flips a matrix over its diagonal. That is, it switches the row and column indices of the matrix by producing another matrix. If I have a matrix like this, it contains two rows and two columns. To find out the transpose of this matrix, we need to flip this matrix along the diagonal. So the transpose of this matrix is nothing but we'll get one will be present here itself. It will flip the matrix. So three comes here, two comes here and four will be here. Okay. This is the transpose of this matrix. This is the given matrix and transpose of that matrix is this. So to find out the transpose of a matrix, we need to flip the matrix along the main diagonal. Or we can say the values which are present in the rows of the given matrix will be present in the columns in the transposed matrix. For example, 1 and 2. In the given matrix, these are the values of row 0. But here, these are the values of column 0. So we'll take another example. So here we have another matrix which contains 2 rows and 3 columns. And this is the transpose of that matrix which contains three rows and two columns, it will flip the matrix along the diagonal. So this is the main diagonal here. It will flip like this. So we'll get one, four, two, five, three, six. All right, so this is about the transpose of a matrix. Next, we need to write the program. So to find out the transpose of a matrix, first we need input. In the input, first we want row and column. So how many number of row and column you want in your input? We want single matrix, okay? So for that, first we need to mention the row and column. We'll ask the user to enter this. Next, we need to take the matrix or we can say nested list here and we need to enter the elements. We'll ask the user to enter the elements for the matrix. So for that, I'll use the list comprehension method. As we did in the previous tutorial, we are doing the same thing to take the input from the user. So first we want input. So in the Python file, first I'll ask the user to enter the row. So I'll take the variable name as P. Okay, so I'll take the input function to take the input from the user because I'm using Python 3 and in Python 3 by default, it will take input as string value. But here we want integer number of rows. So that's why I'll use int function to convert the entered input to integer. And this will be the message which will display on the output screen. All right. So enter the number of rows. Next, I need to take the number of columns. So I'll copy this and I'll paste this and I'll take variable name as Q and I want number of columns. Done. So we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows and number of columns. And I'll take the variable name as P and Q. Next step is we need to create a matrix and we need to ask the user to enter the elements to that matrix. So for that, I'll take the nested list name or matrix name as matrix and I'll use the list comprehension method. So for that, we need nested list and we need to take the input from the user. So int input. We want integer input, integer elements to the matrix one. Next, I need to take the for loop for i in range. First, I need to take the for loop for column. Okay, so here the range is Q because Q contains the number of column. Next here, I need to take the for loop for row. That's why range is P. And here i and j are just a variable name. Q and P are the variables which contains the number of rows and number of column. To take the input, to ask the user to enter the element, I'll take this int input function because we want integer value to the matrix one. Next, this for loop is to enter the value for the column and this for loop is to enter the value for row. So in the list comprehension method, first you need to mention the column here, next row, row for loop. So we are done with the input now. Next, if you want, you can print the values of matrix one in the matrix format. So for that, I'll use nested for loop and I'll take first for loop as for i in range P, number of rows. 
and for j in range q next i'll print the elements of matrix 1 so here i'll take the format function to format my output so i'll take format and here i'll print matrix name is matrix 1 i and j row value and column value comma u 4 space between each value it will give the equal space between each value okay end is equal to empty string because i want to keep the control in the same line while printing the row values like after printing one i want to print two in the same line right so for that i need to keep the control in the same line for that i need to use end is equal to empty string by default end value is slash n that is nothing but go to the new line but i don't want to go to the new line here that's why i took end is equal to empty string next i want a print function here here in this print function i didn't mention the end so it will take the default value that is nothing but end is equal to slash n that is nothing but it will go to the new line that is for the different rows after printing one row i want to go to the next row to print next values row one values so for that i need this print function right so here i can include another message enter the value for matrix one right this is the input i'll show you okay enter the number of rows here i'll take two and two okay number of rows is two number of column is two so it will ask enter the elements for matrix one i'll take one two three and four okay so it will print matrix one one two three four in this way in the matrix shape so if you want here you can print another message like print matrix one so this is similar to the previous programs we did this in the previous tutorial right next i want to find out the transpose of the matrix and i want to store that result in another nested list so for that i need to create another nested list so i'll take my nested list output nested list as result and i'll take initial value of that nested list as zero so next here i need to take how many columns i want in that result next here i need to take how many rows i want in that result nested list so for that the shape of the matrix is 2 into 3 then the output matrix will be 3 into 2 because the it contains the transpose of a matrix so if the matrix one shape is p into q result will be q into p if the given matrix is 2 into 2 then result will be 2 into 2 if given matrix is 2 into 4 then the result will be 4 into 2 so that's why the shape of the result will be q into p q rows and p column so here i need to mention p and here i need to mention q fine so we have input now and we have result nested matrix now we have a place to store our result next we need to find out the transpose of the matrix so for that i need to take the nested for loop for i in range for j in range okay so i need to take two for loop one for loop is for row another for loop is for column here we will find out the transpose of the matrix inside this for loop and we will store that in the result that's why i need to take the for loop according to the result okay so this for loop is for result so i need to take that according to the result so the shape of result is nothing but q into p q rows p column so here i need to take q and here i need to take p okay so next i need to write result i j is equal to matrix 1 j i y because so first we'll take one so we'll write the position of one in matrix one and result this is result in matrix one it is present in the zeroth row and zeroth column so in the position zero zero in the result it is present in zero row and zero column fine next we'll go to the two okay two is present in the zeroth row and one column 
0 1 but in the result it is present in one row zeroth column so 1 comma 0 3 is present in the zeroth row and second column 0 comma 2 here 3 is present in second row and zeroth column 2 comma 0 next we'll move to the 4 4 is present in the first row and zeroth column 1 comma 0 5 is present in the 1 comma 1 6 is present in the 1 comma 2 in the result 4 is present in 0 comma 1 1 comma 1 and it is 2 comma 1 6 is present in the 2 comma 1 okay so that is nothing but if i take this as i and this as j so in the result it will be j and i right so here we can say it is 0 comma 1 it is 1 comma 0 it is 0 comma 2 it is 2 comma 0 it is 1 comma 0 it is 0 comma 1 okay so we need to interchange i and j in the result that's what we did here okay matrix of j i is equal to result of i j next we need to print the result so for that i'll copy this copy and paste and here i need to take q and p because this for loop is for result to print the result so we need to take q and p result okay done the shape of result is q into p that's why we need to take q p and here you need to print result ij so now if i save this and run this enter the number of rows 2 comma 2 1 2 3 and 4 result is 1 3 2 4 so to make it more clear i'll print a message here result done 2 comma 2 1 2 3 4 1 3 2 4 it will find out the transpose of that matrix we'll take 2 comma 3 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is the transpose of that matrix. Okay, so this is about the transpose of a matrix program. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.